going to be apologizing for making a mistake for saying that if we don't pay tight you might not make it to heaven anyone who is not paying his tight is not going to heaven full stop I'm sorry that's wrong that's not in the Bible what the Bible says is he at peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God now let me tell you listen to me you know it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time I prove it to you I mean I'm a scientist so I know that for years we taught that light travels in straight lines now is that correct at least those of you who know a little bit of physics will say sure but light doesn't bend at corners it goes straight but later on we discover it's not just what not straight as a rod light travels in waves going one direction but in waves it is wrong to limit you to 10 percent at a time where some of you should be 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent 10 percent should be for beginners giving should be violently violently the one in top you want to be the one who will control finances they're going to go far far beyond 10 percent i've told you the story before <laughs> i don't know why i'm preaching this sermon before it is time but well maybe because god wants you to hear it first Several years ago, I went to Kenneth Hicken Camp meeting program and they wanted to raise funds for their Bible college. And a man came on stage, got permission from them and said, please let me talk and call his wife. And they whispered. And the husband made the announcement. He said, my wife and I have agreed whatever all of you contribute is what we shall contribute everything all of and at that meeting we were at 17,000 so whatever all of you contribute that's what my wife and I will contribute uh -huh. and those who didn't want to contribute before say hey, you're in trouble At the end of the day, people gave like, I mean, those who didn't want to give before gave angrily. At the end, he said, please count it, so I want to know. They counted the whole thing, $3.5 million. We said, ah, now you are in trouble. He answered and said, brethren, is that all you can do? decide <laughs> this man knows something I don't know I must find out his secret after the service I cornered him tell me your secret I came all the way from Africa <laughs> he said you want to know I said I want to know he said five years ago I started the company 
with $500. And I said to God, you are my senior partner. The business is yours. Prosper the, job, the, the business. And I will not insult you with 10%. I will give you 90%. Oh, oh yes, I, I'm, I'm sure some of you have heard the story before. He says, sir, five years later, my turnover now is $50 million. I say, is that so? He says, yes. I say, okay, sir. Thank you. And from that day onward, I have been increasing my own percentage steadily. I'm not 90% yet, <laughs> but I'm far from 10%. It's wrong for me to say you should be pay only 10%. No, 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 no. Because we are going to dominate. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, by the special grace of God, there are people here, when they are talking about the richest people in the whole world, they will mention your name. Violent soul winning. I'm really happy about Sigur. what Papa Adeboye just revealed. So I'm waiting for all those pastors, the likes of David Biomi, that will say give tithes, that are always preaching about tithes, that if you don't give tithes, this one will happen, that one will happen. The number one man of all the religious church people in Nigeria has come out to apologize. That is sorry for saying that if you don't pay tithes, you will not make heaven. That is not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. Which other things have they told us that it's not in the Bible? That's what I'm concerned about. Which other thing have they told the people that it's not in the Bible? How many things have they manipulated that is not in the Bible? You know, how many things? I am glad Papa Deboye came out now to say these things. So imagine the ones that will not come out and apologize. Imagine the ones that have manipulated the minds of people, that have converted, that have twisted the right words and the right message of the Bible to suit their own narrative. Just imagine. I am happy this came from the number one man. The number one man. I am happy. Like I said, religion have blinded us in Africa. Religion have finished us in Africa. That's finished us in Africa. And I will keep on talking about how messed up religion have put us in. I should be open. I should be open. Carry your Bible. But not be the time when we say, suppose they put time for some important thing. You carry Bible, say you won't go to pray. Now they don't contact you, say yes, no be tight and offering go carry you go heaven. Tomorrow, I'm waiting for the one that will come and tell you that forget all this prayer, prayer, no go move Nigeria forward. Do. I hope all the tithes that was collected that period of time. I just hope God will touch Papa so that will use it to like do something that will benefit the people of the country. Maybe that will create jobs for millions of people. I just hope so. But anyways, this is a good news. You know? So I'm, ah, I'm waiting for all those pastors where they use that same format to take collect titan offering, where they use that pack money. Let them come and say, wait, oh, that means Abel Damina have been right all along. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the likes of David the Biomi. I'm just waiting for him. I'm waiting for him. Wait, if you don't bring your tithes, you have to pay tithe, tithe, tithe. I'm waiting for him. Now, my question is, which other Bible verse, which other Bible message have they manipulated to suit their own narrative? This goes to tell you that a lot of these pastors twist the Bible to suit a certain narrative that they want to push out there. 
I am happy that the number one man, the man that is seen as the number one man when it comes to religion, I've come out to say these things that he's sorry and I love him more for that. Anyways, when I shall just open my eyes, you understand? Open your eyes to all this religion thing. Christianity is there, but the scammers are more than the real people preaching Christianity. In short, the ones preaching the real Christianity are hidden. Most of these popular ones are big scammers. Anyways, don't play. Yes, you go and learn. I understand that many people love suffering, but me, I don't. Pastor Adeboye protests against good luck. Make him do the same thing. He no go be make him know because of say Yoruba man I the rule us, then he will keep quiet only for him to tell us say our spirit our problem then spiritual. Either way no respect himself, children go see and finish. That energy when he put they protest during good luck time, make him do him now. Yeah, because I say Yoruba man I the rule go come day by us. I never see where man of God go day by us. In, do you know that in the sheer Gary, the sheer Tutu Mudu of Gary, to shut their members' mouth up, make them no come as I come protest? Who does that? Those two Mudu of Gary go feed their families. First, we get four, five children. Those two Mudu of Gary, where he share, go, go feed those children, rich one week. When are they tell you, the truth, I beg. For those of us, where they worship human beings as God, somebody like me, I don't. Because even in my, inside my house, if I call God, God, they hear me. Maybe until I go lick person's shoe before I go know how they worship God. So, you see, any elder when no respect himself, picking go see and finish. You understand? So far, is done too much. Do you know how many people, children, they cry, they, they die for hospital? Many of them don't, they homeless. So please, say, God, go forgive me. Forgive me for what? God, no forgive Pastor Adeboye the time when he hold protest against good luck. Now, now, God, go come forgive me. When he refused to do the right thing, a man of God need to entangle himself with politics. But no, Pastor Adebo is saying no go stay away from uh, politics. So he, now he using hand to call what he do one today. If he keep quiet during good luck time, this one what would they drag him now? If I know him, what he go make a come tell us say our problem this spiritual. When the time of good luck he protest against good luck. The time where we say now where we say now Yoruba man they rule us only for him to tell us say our problem this spiritual. Who does that? Now only Pastor Adeboye. So see, either when no see, when no respect himself, the children go see and finish. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop. When falsehood has become an institution, are you here? Truth looks like rebellion. So they think we are rebels. That a man will stand up and say in this nation, that anybody that does not pay tight will not make heaven and the whole nation is not outraged anyone who is not paying his tight is not going to heaven full stop is a place where falsehood has become an institution so then we should change that verse in john 3 16. john 3 16 should read that whosoever does not pay tight shall perish Every Christian in Nigeria should go and correct his Bible. Since you do not rebel against falsehood, you say it is because it's an elder, elder word, elder word. Is he, an, is he more elderly than the Bible? Is he older than the Holy Ghost? Elder word. So, because a man is an elder, I should sit down, he should rub rubbish on my head. I respect his head, but I don't respect his principles. Leave that thing. Leave that thing. Elder what? You render the blood of Jesus useless. You render the sacrifice of Christ useless. You render the finished work of Christ useless. And you want me to keep quiet? My loyalty is to Christ. I have no loyalty to any man that is not loyal to Christ because that man did not die for my sins and I cannot allow a mortal man who cannot save a fly cast as passion on the finished work of Christ who died for all of mankind shout I hear I hear we are turning the order around we are fixing things in their place our apostolic assignment will be fulfilled in our time if your amen is louder you will be a partaker 
I have never seen where knowledge bowed to illiteracy. I have never seen where knowledge bowed to illiteracy. So your old father in the village that cannot speak English. So when you went and your father said I was chemist. So because your father, an old man, grandfather said I am chemist. So you too, you start saying I am chemist. In fact, you should correct him. Daddy, that's not how they used to say it. It is I am coming, not I am chemist. You correct your father because knowledge does not bow before illiteracy. Illiteracy bows before knowledge. Light does not bow before darkness. Darkness bows before light. Somebody shout, I hear you. How can we have light like this? And, and we sit down in this church and somebody say, if you don't pay tight, you will not make heaven. And we keep quiet. I have not even started shouting. I have not even started shouting. I'm warming my voice up. The internet will break very soon. We will break the whole internet. God punish the devil. Jesus, you know what it took for Jesus to die to save a man? And you reduce the work of Christ to 10%? Is that how stingy a man can be? Equating Jesus to 10%? Not even 100%? 10%? Like we are the ones that are rebellious when falsehood becomes an institution truth looks like a rebellion when falsehood becomes an institution truth becomes rebellion disorderliness has become order that is what has happened the church world has embraced care so now that we have brought revelation we look like rebels already analyzed to you that that place is talking about is jesus is specifically he mentioned the name of the people he's talking to he mentioned the name of the people this is addressed to the people who are supposed to do the most important thing and if they want because that is what they are using as their cover up they are using tight and offering if you want still pay your tight and offering even today too i tell the same thing to people pay your tight and offering if you believe in your pastor if you believe in the church or pay your tight and offering look who and look to people and you know don't pay but use it for them so here also jesus is saying but for the people who are using type and offering as an excuse why they are not doing the weightier matters of the law so he's trying to restore them to the weightier matters of the law he's trying to return them to the to the things that are important in the eyes of god that's what jesus came for he came to reveal the heart of god no one has seen god before but the only begotten son of the father he revealed him so jesus is he is revealing the heart of the father that the heart of the father is not tight and offering the height of the father is not what you pharisees are doing you pharisees you missed it what you are doing is not the heart of the father that is not what the father pays attention and emphasis on what the father pays and at emphasis on are matters of loving kindness kindness and love matters of justice matters of mercy those are the weightier matters in the eyes of god if you want to do any at all that is the one you are supposed to have been, you've been doing but if you now insist that you want to do both on the, the one but why do you leave the weightier one you do the weightier one finish first once you have finished doing the weightier one then go and do your title and offering too if you want but the weightier one which jesus came to manifest to us is the weightier matters loving kindness justice and mercy but pastor deboe didn't see that in that scripture he's only seeing that jesus said you must do the tithe okay but that is not even the only thing jesus is saying in that scripture there are other things in that scripture that pastor deboe is not saying he's not seeing or he's not saying and i'm going to allow him to read it by himself he, I'm going to allow him to read it and when he gets there I'm going to stop you him and I'm going to comment to you for you to see what Pastor Deborah is not saying in that scripture. Somebody says if you don't pay your tithe you will go to hell you will not go to heaven full stop anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven full stop say no sir no sir no sir no sir the prerequisite for heaven is not tithe the prerequisite for heaven is Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Not whoever pays tithe. 
Moreover, tithe is not New Testament. Tithe is not New Testament. In the New Testament, we have generosity. We have generosity. People give liberally. People give generously. People give cheerfully. And people give with understanding in response to what God has already done. To support the work of God. To support the ministers of the gospel. And they give generously to support brethren who are in need. No manipulation. No cajoling. No intimidation. That's legalistic. That's the Old Testament. And Jesus fulfilled the demands of the Old Testament. And took it out of the way. For full details on tithe and tithing. You can visit YouTube. Just type tithe and tithing. Abel Damina is part 1 to 15. You can go there watch the whole teaching. And get the full exegesis. And come to a clear understanding. Can somebody shout hallelujah? <laughs> Our daddy G.O. has finally bowed for <laughs> pressure. You see? When you say there is nothing like a poor social media. You see? Some people degrade social media. They don't understand the poor social media. Social media has made our daddy G.O., our general overseer, daddy himself, to say, I am sorry in the public. <laughs> hey, God bless you about my generation. Manipulation and extortion, life on pulpit. <laughs> I want to appreciate Dr. Abba Damina and Dr. Sunday Adelaide for this. They started this. And the one lady also, Mayowa, Pastor Sunday Adelaide has even reacted to this, to this apology. He said, he wrote on his Facebook page, Pastor Adeboye admitted he was wrong and recant seven years after I called him out. So this man actually made this comment seven years ago. This manipulation seven years ago and the social media people has been dragging him yet he refused to repent. He quickly he refused to repent because that code is make, is giving him money. Don't forget to that the GO did not he did not say no to Titan. No. He did not condemn Titan on this is preaching. He said that you should you should increase your Titan. <laughs> I'm coming first. Let me read what Pastor Sunday wrote. <laughs> okay. Pastor Sunday said, In a shocking move, move, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the general overseer of Redeemed Christian Church of God, has finally confessed that his doctrine on sight was wrong. I need to say, I need to say without any sense of false humility that I am the first person to publicly challenge Pastor Enoch Adeboye on his statement that if you don't pay tight, you won't make heaven. As a matter of fact, I was the one who re released the public, who released and published the video where Pastor Enoch Adeboye made the statement. He put the link, the YouTube link. Sad enough, I was shocked when I discovered that instead of the body of Christ in Nigeria to see into the truth, I was trying to expose the rather saw me as an antichrist and an enemy of the church. Many leaders told me to, to my face that if a devil said that it means say that it means God must have revealed it to him. So who am I to condemn him? Others said it does not matter what a devil or any other person teaches. As long as he is an elder, you have no right to correct him. But today, I have been vindicated. Please listen to the words of Adeboye as he now openly recounts the very same doctrine for which many of his faithful, faithfuls had demonized him, demonized him and others. He said, I am sorry for saying that if you don't pay tight, you won't go to heaven. So he actually... Repeated what Adeboye said here. A big kudos to Pastor Enoch Adeboye for having the humility and honest to review, to review his doctrines and to publicly admit to his mistakes. May God forgive 
and have mercy on all of us. For the love of God, church and nation, Dr. Sunday Adeloja. Yes, I have to be frank here. I have to be frank with you guys. He was the first person that started this drama. They call Pastor Sunday Adeloja names. But you can see as well. We thank God. Now, let me now go to the one of my daddy, G.O. <laughs> daddy, daddy. Daddy, what? To? Instead of you to apologize, let's know that your apology is just 100% apology. You now code it. No, I want to prove it to you. Well, before I start that side, let me first of all appreciate you for even coming out to say I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not easy. So, for somebody like you, these uh, people that, be, you know, people used to worship you guys. For you to even come out to say, I am sorry, in the public. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, thank you, sir. Now, Daddy G.O., sir, you said that they can increase the tithe. <laughs> you don't want to limit them of 10%. So, that is why you have to lift that condition of, 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 uh, of heaven. So, you actually lifted the condition of heaven so that they can increase the to 10 percent because he used to pay 90 percent. Hell, <laughs> daddy, <laughs> daddy, daddy, try <trial. laughs> this year's station has not even expired. I thought you have totally <laughs> well, it's well, low. <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy. Have you forgotten that people are suffering? You see why this TikTok girl is, <laughs> is dragging you? <laughs> this, is my sister. Hmm. She said that Adeboye will never have rest until he repents and do the needful. That Adeboye contributed to the bad government. <laughs> Our system. Bad system of government we are facing now in Nigeria. He said that Adeboye contributed because he's in support of APC. The lady said never that Adeboye will never have rest. You guys have seen the reason. Is this manipulation and extortion? I posted a lot of her messages on YouTube and also on Facebook. She said that she wants the message to get to Adeboye so that Adeboye will repent and uh, know what to do so that poor people in Nigeria will stop suffering. Now, upon the condition we are in our country, sir, with all due respect, you still have the mind to tell them to increase it to 20 or 100 percent or 90 percent. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, daddy, that's all the thing they do. You you see, the type of been a dragon part one, dragon part two, even dragging last year, joy, dragging this year. In fact, the type of been has been dragging him for him to repent. Finally, he has repented. So, thank God. <laughs> you want to appreciate that? Okay. Daddy says she increased. You guys have heard it too. See, child of God, there's nothing like, <laughs> there's nothing like a titan. Jesus did not pay tight. His disciples did not pay tight. Don't allow anybody to manipulate you. He, he even apologized. Will I uh, apologize? Okay. We are waiting for the God of Deboye, our God, to apologize. The God of Nigerian pastors. In fact, not only Nigerian pastors, Adeboye has, has made himself God over all the African countries. All the African pastors. He has made himself God over them. So, we're waiting for him to tender his own apology. By saying that if you're not a titan, the father will devour your life and everything you have. If you're not a titan, you will remain poor. If you're not a titan and you are giving to the poor, you will become one of the poor. If you're not a titan and uh, Job did not pay tight, that was why his God did not protect him. So, uh, Adep has plenty to tender, plenty to apologize. But will he do that? Of course, no. We are waiting and we are believing God. This man apologized because he's a humble man. I have been saying it that I said that this Adeboye is, for me, he's 100% better than Oyedepo. Oyedepo is greedy and stingy. But this one has conscience. Ade Oyedepo has sold his conscience years ago. If you have not watched the video where I, I posted it today, I will put the link on the description. You need to watch that video. Where pastors drag uh, this Adeboye over the same, if you're not a title, you will not make heaven. I will post the video. And also, I, I, will, I will put the link on the description. And also put the link on 
on the where his own pastor, his own RCCG pastor came out last week, last two weeks thereabouts, and said no, that this teaching is wrong. I think that was should that also help him. That thing also push him to, to tender this apology. Child of God, there's nothing like fighting. In Christianity, there's nothing like fighting. Jesus did not pay tight. His disciples did not pay tight. We have to give willingly, expecting nothing in return. God is not selling anything. God is not doing trade by butter. Our giving should be willingly and not under compulsion. Because see, Bible says that each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. Not out of rotterly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. This is Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. This is just our own. Any other thing is manipulation. Now that the G.O. say, you have to be willingly, voluntarily. So since it's voluntary, sir, why not remove the titan? Because titan is not a voluntary giving. It's a compulsory payment. You have to pay it monthly. Anytime money enters your hand, you must pay it. So it's a compulsory payment. So for you to say you have lifted it uh, because giving should be voluntarily and you are still collecting tithe. Sir, you see Yahoo, this is confirmed manipulation. Take away tithe. Close your eyes, you have collected enough now. Remove your eyes from tithing. Because tithing is a compulsory payment you must pay. And they have to tell you how much you are going to pay. 10%. So that means it's not a, it's not a, it's not a, a voluntary payment. No, sir. You don't pay God for you don't bribe God with I so that you can bless you. No. You give willingly. I'm not against giving. Of course, you give. You support ministers, you support ministry, you support work of God. Because to take to take to pre pre this gospel is not free. You have to take mic, you buy mic, you buy many things. To pre the gospel to the needies, pre the gospel to the poor, pre the gospel to those that don't have that don't have means of healing the gospel. For you to take it there is money. So it's good to support the ministry. Support ministers of God. But not with all this. Not out of um, extortion. Manipulation. The next night is another private jet. Daddy, if you want to apologize, apologize. Stop apologizing and still be extorting somehow. Mm -mm. Turn the apology and drop this titan totally. Let's just stop unnecessary manipulation. Maybe now in the next 20 years, that is or 10 years to come by the grace of God, you go Jesus Talis, you come out and say, Hey, I am sorry that titan should stop. By then you will make sure that you have collected everything and nothing will remain. It's time for you guys to start doing like the disciples of Jesus. People contributed things and they distributed those things among the poor and the needy in the church. Among them, Bible said that none lack. So it's high time for you guys to do so in our country. Next. Do so. Share. Nobody's supposed to lack in your church. People are not supposed to be lacking in your church. In your churches, please. You guys should stop this manipulation and practice Jesus. Jesus is giving. But we say, when he saw them, he had compassion on them. Have the same compassion and stop manipulating and starting from them. They should increase it by 20, increase it by 100, increase it by 50. Why can't you increase your own to them? Well, if you increase your own to their own pocket, is the abomination. You guys should fear God though. 